Well, Wes, here we are where we didn't think we were necessarily going to be. Well, that's exactly right, but we're here. We're still in the game. We're still in the game, game three. Tough game yesterday from our All-American, oh all-time greatest pitcher. We talked Preston Morrison. What a what a deal that was yesterday to see him going to 10 innings and then receive the applause and the the love and the affection, not only fans, I, the Aggie fans were even the Aggie nice fans were on the They were place. awesome about he, it in there. Both pitchers were incredible. You, you couldn't ask for a better performance, and he pitched like Preston Morrison can pitch. And I've never seen a coach and teammates hug like that off no. the mound in a situation like that. I don't heard special. there's no hugging in baseball. Uh, no, no, that, that's true. It, but there was yesterday, and it was well deserved. I, I, you know, tonight's it for all the marbles. Who goes to Omaha Hall tonight? And it comes down to the Aggies and the Horn Frogs. Uh, you know, we've got Alex Young on the mound tonight. Alex Young, he's an All-American this year. That's right. Got a great record. He got a little beaten up the last time, but you know what? He's a competitor. And I think he'll bring his A game. Well, we're fully loaded. I don't think if Alex doesn't have his best stuff, we've got Traver ready to go. That's Traver, we've got uh, Tickle can come Tickle in. Tickle can come in and run a couple innings. We've also, you know, Riley's fully loaded, ready to go. Riley only came in for the one batter last That's night. That's right. We've got a lot of different options in there if we need them. we got Preston Guillory. we got all kinds of things. Everybody, all hands on deck tonight. All hands are on deck. And we do, like you said, we do have the pitching depth to get us through. And then the A&M pitcher, kind of an unknown. They said he had ACL surgery. Back on February 7th, and already has come back and even pitched a little bit. That's kind of crazy. Now, we just heard he wears a brace out there, so to challenge him with a bunt and make him get off that mound fast is going to be kind of be interesting to see if they do that. We will see if uh, Coach Lasagel has picked up on that, and we do bunt a little bit normal. We're not known as the biggest bunt team. No. Let's see if we can get him off with our speed and, and some of our bunting abil ability be able to do it. Wes, another huge crowd. Another big crowd. Woo! Overloaded with TCU fans out there. We got some Aggies out here again, but it's gonna be a good night for the Frogs, all right? That's right. All right, go Frogs. Go Frogs. Chopper, stabbed and dropped. They'll send the runner home. The throw to the plate gets away, and TCU is going to Omaha.
much was this team able to draw on last year's play? I know I'm not all of them to do that, but how much can we get drawn? With all the seniors and upperclassmen who have been there and done that, we felt like we, we could do it no matter what the situation was. Like last week when we played at State down 8-1, to those seniors brought us back. And the seniors this, this year have been instrumental in us getting back to the roster. Graver, Mitch, you were unbelievable standing in there. What was that like out there? No end in sight, man. I mean, I, I gave everything I could. You know, that's that that was my job was to come out of that pen and leave it all on the field. And God is good, man. I'm so glad. God won. is good. And I know you're a man of faith, and he was there with you the whole time. Without a doubt. You stood tall. I saw what was going on out there. You depended on him to give you strength, and you went through 100%, that. 100%. That is one of my strengths. Absolutely. God is so good. Good deal. How about we won to Omaha, baby? Yeah, two years in a row. Let's How's that, isn't that great? We're not done yet. Another one of the super ladders of extra inning, Brian Howard. You <laughs> Here you come in big again this year. This was like the 22 inning game last year when you came in. It was, it was insane. Much like it, you came in, shut them down, did your job, set it up for Mitch. Tell us how was that? I mean, you you were in the zone there for a while, buddy. Yeah, it felt great. It's good to turn over the ball like to someone like Mitchell Traver, though. The guy who can go out there and throw five zeros up like that, that was incredible. You had to keep it down to those Aggie power hitters. You knew it was a, it was a chance with their power. They could get it out of here, and you did a great job at Thank that. Thank you. Yes, Absolutely. Sir. So guess what we're doing? Where are we going this week? We're going to Omaha. We're right? going to Omaha. Where are we? All right, going to Omaha. Very good. Congratulations, Brian. I got the Weatherford Flash with me today. <laughs> Trey Tinkle, you held us in, baby, as long as you could out there. Went through there. They ate. Were you, were you gassed at that point? Or yeah. It was just time to go. Yeah, I, I, you had, you did phenomenal after there. I was pretty much out of gas. Out of <laughs> I gas. I don't think I could go under there anybody. Well, you, you know what? Your teammates came in and rescued you oh, there. Yeah. Gave up a little bit, but they didn't give up enough, and y'all never quit. You can't say enough about this team. Yeah, we bend, but don't break. That's we didn't bend, then don't break. And we didn't break, so. What do we get to do now? Where are we going? We're going to Omaha. We're going to Omaha. Are we in that road? We'll see you there. Garrett, what a game. Huge game by you. What, what can you say about this? I mean, this is unbelievable. After we went through last year in 22 innings, to go today and do this through 16 and win it, and you guys were resilient all the way. It's an incredible feeling just playing like that. We, we felt like we had it the whole time and we ended up getting it. We played well the whole game. A big last at bat there. You kept fighting and fighting and fighting off and getting on base and then going to the end there, getting in position to score. Tell us about that. Uh, just Trying to have a good at bat, get in scoring position, like you said, and I knew my teammates would do the rest. They did the rest. You came home, and we're going home. Where are we going this year? We're going to Omaha. We're going to Omaha. We're going, we're going to Omaha. Omaha. Oh, yeah. Hey, Killer Frogs, here we are. Big 12 player of the year here, Cody Jones, but not only Big 12. What a big catch there late in the game coming through there. Tell me, how'd you see that? Did you get a good beat on it from the start? I got a good beat on it because just a few seconds before that, Coach Sauce moved me over. Move. He kind of signaled for me to move over towards right field, and, and I did, and just a few seconds a, later, that ball was hit, and he, that, he, had a, he had a good read. That was a huge play oh. we had tonight out in the field. We had to have it when you talked to me about your teammates. I mean, look at that pitching staff, what they did tonight, all the way down to Mitchell Traver hanging there, Brian Howard. All those guys were in there, incredible. Teak coming back on two days. Uh, it's incredible. I've, I've never been – around anything like this and I don't think a lot of people have and this is just it it can't describe it these no one on this team gives up and it's it's unbelievable what these guys what we can do together I, I'm having the time of my life well we're not going to Disney World but where are we going Cody we're going to Omaha we're going to Omaha we're going to Omaha, we're going to Omaha. Yeah. Cody Jones is going to lead these frogs in Omaha Keaton <laughs> big I mean I tell you what tonight you were up and down at the plate we saw you up the plate looking bad, and then all of a sudden you just smash one out there to get us back in this game. Uh, tell us about those advances tonight, Keaton. I mean, there was a lot of them, but uh, there were a lot of them tonight. There were a lot there? of them, but I mean, I mean that one specifically. I, I mean, I could see the ball better. Right. I mean, early in that, I'm not gonna make excuses, but definitely you could see it uh, change in our bats when it. Uh, when the, but you've been, you've been big all year in those situations, Keaton. And, but what do you say about this lineup up and down, your teammates, I mean, the pitcher? I mean, have you ever seen such a team effort on behalf? I mean, you've been on some other good teams here, great team oh, last yeah, year. I have. But up and down, is this not just a phenomenal lineup you guys have? Oh, yeah, everyone's – I mean, they're great ball players. I mean, they never give up, and they're just great people too, and they're well-deserving. And I mean, I love every single one of them. They work so hard. And, I mean, 
Well, Keaton, I know you're big about going to Disneyland <laughs> and, 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 you know, Knott's Berry Farm, but we get to go somewhere bigger and better than that now, don't we? I mean, I've been there once. I'll, and where are we going? Be even sweeter again. Where are we going? Omaha. 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 <laughs> you better give her, you, get that. I love it. So excited. Oh man, I'm gonna get him with some lipstick on. That's good. Don't want that off. That's good luck lipstick there. There we go. Here we go. Look who we got here. We got both the sloth snickles here. Jim, what a what a phenomenal thing. Here with your family, Cammy here, the Horn Frog Nation, all these Aggies in here. Takes us what uh, 16 innings to pull this off. T tell me what what's the first words come out of your mouth? Well, you know, I'm obviously excited. Um, I'm, I'm stunned. I mean, I just, it's, it's, and, and I've, I'm, I'm trying to be very careful. I, I don't want to, uh, I want to honor our opponent because that's, that is a, uh, I know it's a rivalry and I'm certainly happy we, we've won, but that was a, the best baseball game that I've ever been a part of in 25 years because of, of what's at stake and two great teams, guys making pitches, guys making plays. Um, you know, we hit the ball with a stinking pitcher. That, was, that, that should have won the game, and right. so just anything and everything that happened, in, you know, could happen in a baseball game happened right there. Things, things that happened up and down in this game throughout, but you're right. It was both teams that were both resilient. Nobody wanted to lose this game. It looked like neither one of them would the way it kept going out. I mean, we got down. We had situations to win it. They had situations to win it. Um, Tell us what you were thinking in the ninth inning there. Uh, Tico was out of gas. Is that your yeah, 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 yeah. Tico threw almost 50 pitches the other day, and, and he was. I was worried about him in the eighth inning. You know, gave up the, get behind the count, gave up the home run to Banks, um, but he he was he was out of gas, and you know, we went to Riley, and you know, Riley didn't have a good day, but Gillery uh, came in. That's just you know the story of the game is to me is Gillery and Traver, you know, and I mean Howard, but Gil, to, for Gillery who wasn't even on the map of our pitching staff. Um, halfway through the season, to come in bases loaded and nobody out, and still end up, you know, only give up the two runs was, was in, great. In that same situation last week, he came in at six to one, threw a couple of wild pitches in that situation. You put the trust back in tonight, and he came through for you in a very difficult situation. Well, and last week was the first time that I had used him on back to back days, so you know, you blame me for that. I don't, I don't think he felt very good, but. Um, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's done great, especially from where he started to where he is now. And, and you can't say enough about Tico, Brian Howard, and Traver to come in there. You know, Traver, he just does what you ask out of him, it looks like, and came in there and did the best. And phenomenal plays there late by Cody Jones out in the outfield. Uh, he told me that you m motioned him over there and got him in position to make that play. Well, on that particular pitch, yeah, I mean, I'm always in communication with uh, Coach Sarlos and where he's going to throw, you know, where we're calling the pitch, and had a feeling where that guy was going to hit that ball. So we just moved him there at the last second. Um, but you know, it's a total team deal, and and uh, got to mention Alex Young. Oh, you know, uh, that, that, that was like, I mean, that was like a day ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. That was yesterday. But uh, you know, he he uh, he had a chance to cash in early. You know, they didn't score some runs early, and then he really found a rhythm um, and gave us a great start. And Cammy, you got to be excited about going back to Omaha. I'm excited. You're Ready. excited to see these boys and your husband go back there. Toe Dama. Toe Dama Hall. Toe Dama right here. All right, guys, go Frogs. Coach has got to go to the press conference. We're getting out. We'll see you in Omaha.